Good morning, Anita. It's bread making time. So let's get into it here and I'll try to keep all these steps as short as I can. Hello, Jack, down there. Um, so first step, get your scale. Turn it on, zero it out. I take a big bowl, cause I'm doing two loaves and then zero it out. Oops, I didn't look. I changed. There we go, back to grams. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. So then you wanna do 1,000 grams of flour. So this is for half. I just brought my giant bag up from downstairs. Normally I keep some up here, but I'm all empty up here. So I just brought the whole thing. So 1,000 looks like this. Obviously, if you were doing half a loaf, it would be 500 grams. Okay, and you do wanna to try to get it exact. So, I'm over by 18 grams, so I'm gonna take some out until I get there. Got one gram to go. Thank you, Jack. Oh, no thank you, it's flour, no thanks. All right, thanks, Jack. Okay, so then you're gonna zero that out again and I have my filtered water here. Oh, I'm, I'm, you, your zero out is on the right, right? And I keep going to my right, which is weird because I'm doing it like you. Okay, so it's zeroed out and I have my filtered water. You can use your fridge water and you're gonna do 730 grams. Just quite a bit wow. and I'm a little bit over it doesn't have to be exact exact but try to get it close so then I just take a spoon and suck a bit out oh boom 730 beautiful all right zero out now I just have this big thing of salt this is sea salt can you can you choose another one? Oh, that's your bag okay this is Abby's bag Stop. Stop. Let's get your bag. One moment, please. Thanks, right there. Jack. Jack, this is your bag. It's okay. So, 27 grams of salt. Just like a couple handfuls. 16. 22. So this is what I would have you do if we were together. Zero it out for one more step. Now, do you think I have enough starter? I hope so, 200 grams <laughs> of starter. I probably should have fed it this morning before my client. Hey. Oh, I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> Boom, 200, and I still have, I don't know if I can show you exactly. I have probably two tablespoons right. in there, so and I'll typically you. immediately feed that well, I love what you're and to get it going again so I don't forget about it and pop it in the fridge. Okay, we're going to mix this up oh, and I'll wow. show you what it looks Thank like. You. So I have this whisk. I didn't show you what it looks like without dough on it, but it sort of has these little spirals in it. My mom got it for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like for bread um, or dough mixing. And Pretty soon, I'm just mixing it all, but pretty soon we're gonna get in there, use our hands and dump it out. But it's pretty sticky at the moment. So, mix, mix, mix. So put a bit of flour down. You can see I haven't mixed it all. I don't wanna over mix it, but I'm gonna get it on my counter. Well, that's neat. You guys are doing pictures for dad. Um, and then I have a scraper. So I'll use my scraper to get the rest of that off. And then you want to get your hands wet. I don't use filtered water for that, but hands wet. And it's a big blob right now. Yes, I can rip it out in just a moment. Okay. 
and I'm just gonna work it in a little bit. We don't wanna do too much. You um, wanna let it sit a bit. So I'm just gonna kind of incorporate the flour. Yeah, I'll rip it up in just a second, Abby. And then we're gonna cover this with a wet towel. And let it sit for 10 minutes and then come back to it. You get it on your fingers. I try to get as much off, but yes. Are you tired already? Um, and then wet cloth gonna go over it. No, it, that's how those work. That's how they're created. So it's been 10 minutes. The client's coming. You're gonna stretch and fold, stretch and fold. Go the other way, stretch and fold, stretch and fold. Oh, I didn't even totally get all that flour in. Shoot. Um, I'm playing with the clock here. Stretch and fold. Um, yeah, I didn't incorporate that all the way. I'm just watching for my clients. Sorry, Anita. Um, now, this is the fun part. In the beginning, you take this guy and you go bam. And you stretch and fold it over. That's right, Jack. And you go, bam, stretch and fold. And I do about three of those. Stretch, stretch the opposite side, kind of like a diaper. And now I won't be able to come back to this for an hour because I got to go train. So I cover that back up for 30 minutes and about every 30 minutes now. We'll check it and we won't do the throw, but we'll stretch and fold like two to four times. Okay. Okay, so I'm ready now to do one more little whoop, 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 and I put some olive oil in that bowl I started with. Not a ton, um, a little crusty by now. And I just get it on the sides. And then I'm gonna do one more stretch and fold. Mama, aren't going to stretch. Be yes, I just have to get this bread sitting in the oven. Not to bake yet, stretch and fold. I'm just showing Miss Anita. Okay, grab your owl backpack from your room, please. Okay. I'm gonna do one more. Sometimes you just flop it a little stretch and fold. How is this getting tighter now? And fold. There's, I can already see some little bubbles in here. Gonna flop it in with the seam side up. Get this wet again. And put it over to rest in a warm spot. It can stay on your counter or you can put it um, in the oven with the light on, um, but no heat. And I'm gonna do that probably for the rest of the day. Okay, Anita, I never time this, but I just let it rise for like half a day. Jack's in bed, Abby and Mikey are on a little date to the grocery store. And I just pulled this out of the oven where it wasn't baking, it was just rising. And, it is quite a bit bigger. I don't remember, it was just like a chunk of a ball, like maybe down to here. So it's about double, which is awesome. So I'm gonna pour this guy out and because I oiled it, it slides out pretty nicely. But if you've got some sticky, I have one of these you can have. It's a scraper. You can get little kits from Amazon for pretty cheap. Um, I can forward you what I have, what I got. <clears throat> so let's take a look here. So this is about what it looks like. It's got some oil in it, but it's pretty big. So I'm gonna cut it in half and just let both of them sit for a minute. Um, so yeah, this seems like, I mean, it is an all day thing, but I just ate an entire, well, Halloween size, like kid size bag of chips, but I just opened them and ate them. Pregnancy is weird, but also so is Halloween because you have all this stuff around and I don't feel as good right now. So I let it sit for a minute and then I'm gonna stretch fold, stretch fold like 
two to three times each one. And then I'm gonna put some flour in a bowl. This is my proofing bowl. I only have one, so I just use a regular bowl for the other one. So you can see it's sort of like it's wicker or and wood or whatever this is. I put flour in it so it doesn't stick. I and mean, then it has that design in it. And then I'm gonna cover that with a wet cloth and put it in the fridge. In the morning, I'll pull them out and bake. So it's actually pretty straightforward. You just have to like every so often come back to your bread, stretch and fold it, and then put it away, don't think about it, and then just before bed, stick it in the fridge. And then we bake in the morning. So hopefully this isn't too long, but it's kind of nice to see all the steps. So um, there you go. Good morning, Anita. So the bread saga continues. I took this out of the fridge a little bit ago. Um, my oven, as soon as I woke up, I preheated my oven with a Dutch oven in it. I thought it was called, yeah, um, at 500. And now got a little bit of flour down here. And I'm just gonna dump this guy out. Here's my scraper. And I also floured the bowl a bit so it should fall out pretty easily. No! Oh. Okay, Jack, where's yours? Paint the dog. Paint the dog, okay? Hey, Jack. No! So I scraped a bit of excess flour off the top, and then I'm just gonna, a little sticky. She put some flour on my hands. You can also do this with your hands. I need a bit of flour. Kind of puff it up, roll it under. Oh, oh. Okay. Oof. Be careful on that bench, Jack. Whoa. 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 Then I'm going to take a serrated knife and just do a slice down the middle, like a couple inches deep. I'm not super exact, but I'll show you this is what it looks like. Kind of pops open. My loaves are normally pretty split open. And I'm going to put take the Dutch oven out, put it in the middle, put the lid back on at 500 for 25 minutes. And then I will take the lid off, take it down to 450 for 25 minutes, and then it's done. And I do put one piece of foil under the Dutch oven so it doesn't burn the bottom of the bread. That's something that has been helpful. Okay, so my timer for the first 25 just went off. You can see I just have a square of foil under there. So, take the lid off. I like to rotate it around. It's looking pretty big and full. Put it back in there for 25 more minutes and turn down to 450. Okay, my timer just went off. Looks pretty good. I just go like this. I put it back in. There. I will reheat the oven to 500 for my loaf number two. And there we go. Happy baking. Have fun with it. You'll get better and better.